Today I'd like to tie for you a bass or saltwater fly. And this is going to be an articulated bunny strip or zonker strip. The hook I have in the vise for the trailer hook is a size 4. This is a saltwater hook. This is going to be a red fly. I'm going to use Danville 3 Ot. And this is a rose color or on the red side. We're going to put a base of thread down. And we're going to bring that thread back to just to the end of the flat, which will bring it about halfway between the barb and the point. Now I have a dyed red zonker strip. I'm going to take this and I want this to be, oh, we're just going to have this hanging off the tail section. And we want that to be one and a half the length of the hook shank. So I'm going to mark it and then I'm going to trim it. I trimmed it and now I'm going to remove the hair right here so I have a better grip with the thread. We're going to tie that in there. This will be a great bass or saltwater fly. You could tie it in any colors. It would also be a good nighttime fly for trout, big trout on big rivers. We're going to go ahead and wrap that in there tight. Now I'm going to take red ostrich hurl and I'm going to tie it so it goes all the way around the hook. I'm going to take maybe about a half a dozen per clump. And I don't want this to go, eh, well we'll put this just so it goes about to the tip of the hide. Don't worry if they're sticking up the, once they get in the water they're going to take the correct shape. I'm going to trim off that excess. I'm going to place them a little more on the far side. Get them down to the right length. Place them on the far side and the thread should carry them to the middle. And I'm going to trim off that excess. I'm going to take the last bunch and tie them on this side of the hook. Put them a little bit towards the bottom of the hook to get started. And that'll carry that just about right around. And I'm going to remove that excess. I'm going to get some head cement on there. Let that soak in a bit while I get the next uh, piece of rabbit out. I'm going to use a different, little different of a color and this is a flame, fluorescent flame color. And this is a cross cut. And you see when, they're, when you have the cross cut, it's the, the hair will naturally be laying on the side instead of down along the piece of hide. But you also want, I'm going to tie it in and be turning it that way, so I don't want this because it's facing forward. I want the other end. So when I tie this in, it's going to be facing to the back where I want it. And I remove just a little piece of the hair 
we're gonna tie that in and secure that well. I'm gonna put a little bit more head cement on there. If you have super glue, it's a good idea to put super glue on here, and that will secure that hide to the hook very, very well. We're going to go ahead and wrap this and stroke everything to the rear as you do it. And you'll see that super glue or head cement getting pushed by the hide. I'm going to come up to one eye length and I'm going to tie that off. And go ahead and trim that off. I have a small piece of hide there. Just fold that down to the front and then you can secure that and secure that pretty well. I'm going to take my whip finish. Put a little saliva on your fingers and control those hairs there a bit. And already, right now, this will be a fine fly in itself. A lot of action from the hair and the ostrich hurl. We're going to just put this on the side for the now moment. I'm putting in a one ot stainless steel saltwater hook. Tighten that up. We're going to start by getting a base of thread on there. Now I'm going to take 15,000 speed lawn. This is vinyl coated wire. I'm going to start this, I'm going to tie this in pointing forward. And we're going to bring that up about, I would say about a half an inch is, is plenty. And then we can fold it over. Let's get that secured really well first. And then we can fold that over and secure it. And this way with it folded like that, you will have no worries about the back hook coming off. And when we do the front one or the opposite side, put it on there and then we'll just fold it over and secure it again. Now I'm going to take two or three small red beads. I'm going to string them on the wire. I say two or three because these are different sizes. I'm going to put three on there and that will determine how far back your your stinger hook is going to be. Now we're going to take the stinger hook, I'm going to thread it from the bottom. Then I'm going to put the wire through the beads once again. And you can pull that pretty tight. 
and that will be free to go where it wants. We're going to tie this right on top. Put a few wraps in there and then you can pull it tight. And now since we have that step there, I'm going to take this and uh, wrap this forward more. Then when we I do my fold back, I'm just going to take the fold back up to that step. And I'm going to fold that back. And I'm going to go ahead and trim that. And once we have it secured, I'm going to use some more head cement on there. Let that soak right in. Now I'm going to take the red zonker once again. And I don't want to use, I don't want the hide to hang over. I'm just going to tie the hide in right there. And then I'm going to work that forward. But I'm going to measure this off. So we want a piece of hide to be the length of the hook shank. Now I'm going to take this, I'm going to hold that, this upside down, I'm going to tie in that section, secure that pretty well, and then later we're going to fold that over and it will be sitting just like that. I'm going to take a piece of the fluorescent fire color. Like I said, you could use any color combination that you'd like with these. Secure that pretty well. Now we're going to bring our thread up to a little more than one eye length from the eye of the hook. We're going to take this and wrap this. There we go. I am overlapping it just slightly. You can see the overlap there. One more wrap. I'm going to tie this off. Take your little brush, divide that hair on the top, and you'll have something like that. I'm going to pull that forward. I cut that hide just a little bit long there. I'm going to trim just a little bit off there. And I'm going to trim the hair off the top of that hide. This makes it a little bit easier to tie that in. I'm going to take my red ostrich hurl once again. I'm 
these ostrich hurl you can leave it go to about the middle of the stinger hook we're going to tie these in just on the sides Take another half dozen, size them up. Now to finish this off, I'm going to take a red marabou and I'm going to put a couple turns of marabou right on that head. I'm going to take this and tie this in by the tip. Get that nice blood vein there. Could even fold that tip over and tie that in. And we'll trim that off. And give this a few wraps. And we're going to tie that one in. Now I'm going to add ice to this. You don't need to. I'm going to. The eyes I put on are Deer Creek Gator Eyes. And I'm going to go ahead and secure those with my Deer Creek diamond fine UV resin I'm going to take them I'm gonna hold them together I'm gonna to put a little bit in between just a little bit so we could get them to stick hit them with the UV light get them to hold on there a little better then we're going to build that up Here we have an articulated zonker fashioned after Eric Roth's Action Jackson. It'd be a great bass fly, It'd be a great nighttime trout fly, It'd be a great saltwater fly. Lots and lots of action and everything. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends, leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.